Hello everyone, I am Dr. Naina Singh, HOD Humanities, Assistant Professor of Sociology at BSS College Bhopal. Today, I will acquaint you all with the topic, Steps of Research Process. So let's see, when you are talking about the steps in a research process, the very initial step we are actually talking about either a problem, a topic or a title to the research project or research paper. So what's the problem is? What will be the topic or what will be the title of the research project or paper? The initial or the first step for any research project paper to formulate a question you want the answer for or you are curious about certain things, issues or problems. Being clear on the question might makes it easy to formulate a proper research strategy for finding the best output or information about the pertaining title or question. Here are certain examples or research questions which will help you out to formulate the topic. Likewise, is obesity in children a form of child abuse? What are the best interventions for preventing youth violence in Asian urban communities? How can social workers best meet the needs of children of illegal immigrants? When starting your research, you may or may not have a clear-cut idea of the title, topic or pertaining research questions. But when you give a title or a topic or an idea for formulating in a form of a question, it is a sort of a pilot study or you will be able to review the literature already written on this topic, you will be likely to help and it will help you how to refine the topic or commence with the hypothesis or the objective questions further in the other processes. Here is a glimpse of the entire steps which are incorporated in the research process. The first is the selection of a research problem or topic, extensive literature survey or you can say review of the literature pertaining to the topic where already the research have happened. You may also call it a secondary data. Then developing the objectives, making hypothesis, preparing the research design, sampling, data collection, data analysis, hypothesis testing, generalizations and interpretation. Finally, the preparation of a report or presentation of the results or the conclusions you have reached in the research study. Now, the very first is in detail about the selection of a research problem or you may say a topic. The selection of topic for a research is difficult job. When we select a title or research statement, then other activities would be easy to perform. So for the understanding thoroughly, the problem it must have been discussed by the colleagues or the persons who are well skilled in research field. It could be friend, it could be experts, it could be teachers, it could be academicians. Now the research topic or problem should be practical, relatively important, feasible, ethically and politically acceptable. Next comes in process is the literature review or I said extensive literature survey. After the selection of a research problem, the second step is that of literature mostly connected with the topics. The availability of the literature may bring ease in the research process further. For this purpose, you can use academic journals, conferences, government reports, library, even the newspapers must be studied thoroughly. The next step comes is making hypothesis. Now, hypothesis is the blueprint of the research on which you have to work upon. It could be a presupposition, a pre-idea, some kind of concept which is traditionally being built or a type of a prejudice, a stereotype or a statement. 
pertaining to the research title or the problem. The development of hypothesis is a technical work which depends on the research experience or researcher's experience. The hypothesis is to draw the positive and negative cause and effect aspects of that problem which is the title of your project or research paper. So, hypothesis also narrows down the area of research and keep the researcher on the right track or you can say path. Hypothesis are of various types, it could be null, it could be alternative. Next, the function of the research design is to provide for the collection of relevant evidence with any minimal expenditure or efforts of time, money and many other things. Research purpose may be grouped into four categories with exploration, description, diagnosis and experimentation. Now the next step in this process is preparing the research design. After the formulation of the problem and creating hypothesis for it, research design is to prepare by the researcher. It may draw the conceptual structure of the problem or of the topic. Any type of research design may be made depending upon the nature and the purpose of the study. Research design is the most important when you talk about sources skills, time, finance, all these things are to be taken into consideration while research. Next comes the sampling. The researcher must design a sample. Actually sampling is a plan for taking its respondents for a specific area or universe. The sample may be of two types. It could be probability sampling or non-probability sampling. The next step is data collection. Data collection is the most important work for the researcher because the collection of information may be containing the facts, logics or the reasons which is from the following types of researcher or the data which has to be collected. The first is the primary data collection which is collected by the researcher himself or herself. Primary data can be classified into experiment, questionnaire, observation, interview or interview schedule. Talking about the secondary data, it is the data which is available or already researched previously by other researchers but it is connected with the topic. You call it the review of literature, official or non-official reports, library approaches, newspapers, certain government data pertaining to the topic. Then comes the next step, data analysis. The analysis of the collected data requires a number of closely related operations such as the establishment of categories. So the main stages or categories could be coding, editing, tabulation of the collected data. When data is collected, it is forwarded for analysis which is the most technical job and you can convert your qualitative data into quantitative data. Now the two categories which we were talking about, the first is the data processing. It is again subdivided into data editing and data exposition. Data editing, data coding, data classification or tabulation or presentation. In this actually all the types of data is measured then quantified and presented in the forms of bar graph, pie charts, diagrams etc. When you are talking about data exposition, it is again divided into certain categories like description, explanation, narration, conclusion, finding results or recommending suggestions and solutions for the constant topic, research or the problem. Next step is the most vital step called hypothesis testing. Research data is then forwarded to 
test the hypothesis which you have formulated as per the topic. Now here we need to see do the hypothesis are related to the facts or not what we have accumulated through the data collection. To find the answers the process of testing hypothesis is undertaken which may result in accepting or rejecting the hypothesis whether it is the null hypothesis or the alternative hypothesis. Then comes the next part which is known as generalization or interpretation of the data. The acceptable hypothesis is possible for a researcher to arrival at the process of generalization or to make certain principles or theories. Some types of research has no hypothesis, they can have objective or assumptions for which researcher depends upon the theory or which is known as interpretation. Next step is hypothesis testing. When you are testing the hypothesis, you are actually preparing a report. A researcher should prepare a report for which he has done his work. He must keep in mind the following points talking about designing the report as per the results of the hypothesis. In the primary stages, the report should carry a little brief introduction of the problem, background followed by the acknowledgement. There should be a table of content, graphs, charts in the report. Now talking about the main text of the report, it should contain objectives, hypothesis, explanations and methodology of the research. It must be divided into chapters and every chapter explain separate titles in which summary of the finding should be enlisted. The last section would clearly be of conclusion, suggestions or recommendations. Now comes the closing of the report. After the preparation of the report, the last step whether it is any kind of research process, it contains either bibliography or references, appendices, interview schedules, index, maps or charts of illustration. For this purpose, the information should be more lucid and clear. This is all with the basic steps in research. Thank you.